Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. Hi, so it's currently 5 to 12. I'm running really late for my lecture, so I need to run. Three hours later. Oh my god, my fringe is so messed up from the wind. I just got back from my lab. Today, this nobody cares, this is such a nerdy thing. But today we used TK Inter in my lab, and I used that for my entire A-level project. So it was literally like my bread and butter, like I knew what I was doing. I was literally like getting in there. <laughs> nerdy time's over, we can all go back to being normal now. I'm gonna tidy my room at first because it's kind of a mess when I got ready this morning. The sun's going down already, I literally can't believe it. It was also so windy last night, I literally had to check that my um, windows were shut because I thought they were open. It was that windy. I also need to eat. Okay, so that is my room now. Tidy, it's looking great. I've hung my trees back up because they keep falling down, which is so annoying. But I now need to go and eat something, so I'm probably just gonna make myself like a sandwich. Whilst I make my food, I'm gonna carry on listening to the new episode of A Gay and a Non Gay, which is such an amazing podcast. <laughs> This is lovely, thanks. Probably mentioning at the same time that same sex marriage is all good. Yeah. I don't want to other anyone because I think that's gonna. So it's currently five o'clock. I am going to actually do some work. Michaela, do a work? It's more likely than you think. Okay, so it's currently 25 to 7. I just finished filming yesterday's after video bit, which was the wrapping, in case you didn't see that. So, what I'm gonna do now is edit this vlog. I'm being so bad at you know, uploading vlogs on time. Basically, I need to go to Big Tesco tomorrow because I, can't, I literally can't make a coherent meal. Like, it's really bad. So I'm gonna go to Little Tesco, maybe get some sausages. I might have sausage, mashed peas, and sweet corn for tea. I also managed to finish the conclusion and the future work section for my report. Oh, there we go. Made it. Our kitchen's looking grim again, so I'm gonna try and give it a quick clean up, but it is look it's looking grim. So yeah, I'm gonna tidy this kitchen up a bit. I'm not gonna do a mental job, but just enough so it's actually like, you know, clean. So I've wiped down the hob, I've done my washing up, and I've also cleaned this down. So now I'm gonna make myself some tea. It's currently 10 o'clock, like why am I so unorganized? Tomorrow I'm gonna get my life together. Tomorrow's vlog is gonna be called Getting My Life Together, and I'm gonna get my life together. They only had little potatoes in um, Little Tesco, so I had to get little potatoes. I'm gonna put them in here because I don't actually, this is a really weird thing, but I don't know how to cook vegetables so you don't steam them because my mum steams everything so I'm just like used to steaming vegetables so I'm going to peel these I cut them in half so I cook quicker and then put them in here and I'm also going to add peas and I'm going to set the steamer up over there so I'm going to cook all six these sausages I'm going to eat three and put the other three in the fridge see those in 45 minutes potatoes are on mate nailed it Hi, so it's the next day now. I didn't film anything else yesterday, so I've come here for the end of this video. Today, I'm going to reorganize my wardrobe, which may seem like a meaningless task, but it's a mess. If you guys watched my room tour, then you would have seen that my like wardrobe had some kind of like structure then. Now it kind of doesn't. Now it's kind of like, let me just lob this here because I'm in a rush. So I thought for today's after video bit, I'd reorganize my wardrobe. I've also got some hot straighteners by there, so I'm trying not to like kill myself on the straighteners, but that's easier said than done. See, this one I'm about. In here's my makeup bag because I sit like on a chair by here. Put my makeup bag there and do my makeup in the mirror. What I want to try and do in this section right here is like organize it into like shirts, suits, and then like have a section of clothes that I've worn but I'm wearing again. I'm taking these two dresses back because they don't actually fit me. So I should put them aside because they're just taking up like valuable hangers. This is like a hanger of t-shirts that I've worn but I'm gonna wear again. But the problem is I put them on here and forget they're on here, but it's a really good idea, so I'm gonna keep them like that. And then this is just like my hanger of trousers I've worn but I'm gonna wear again. This is my Halloween dress. So I'm gonna put this towards the back just because I don't wear it that often. This is a shirt, this is a dress, and this is another penny floor. This is gonna go to the back because I don't wear it this very often either. This is a jumper. I don't know why I've hung it on there like that, but this is a jumper. And then I've also got all these jumpers here, which for the moment I've been keeping on here, but they're kind of getting in the way a bit. So I think these two are fine down there. It's just these two are a bit too like tall for it. I'm gonna have, in the middle here, I'm gonna put all my shirts. 
cut to like a montage of like how many shirts I have because it's actually kind of shameful. Oh, this shirt here, this is a special shirt, right? I got this in Asda. You guys know remember when I stayed home alone for a week? Me and Sarah went and bought this in Asda. Then I was watching Bake Off the other week and some pure 40 year old man was wearing this shirt and I was like, I wear that better than you. Okay, so they all my shirts in one place. Next I'm gonna do like dresses slash pinny fours. So now I've got all these hangers spare. So I need to leave one hanger spare for the current jumper I'm currently wearing, so I'll leave that there. So this right here is the t-shirt pile. I'm gonna leave that as it is. But I found this shirt and this dress on the t-shirt pile, which are meant to be there. So I'm gonna put them on hangers. So now the only thing I've got left is jumpers. I have five jumpers, including the one I'm wearing. Well, I've got two hangers left, but this jumper I'm gonna hang up, so I have one hanger left. I think I'm gonna put this one with the folded up jumpers, just because it's like smaller, so it won't take up as much room. And then that leaves a spare hanger for the jumper I'm wearing, and then a hanger for this. That's my wardrobe organized.